Sometime over the past month, someone whom I've known in person for well over 10 years left a comment on one of my Facebook posts that was talking about uh, the rioting and socialism, you know, dictionary socialism and communism. And she said, pick a side or it will be chosen for you. Now, she sides with the rioters, not just the protesters, not the reasonable protesters, not the ones who are calling for reasonable police reform and uh, uh, reform in the courts and uh, getting rid of private prisons. No, she's, she's arguing for actual dictionary socialism and even communism, saying we need to dismantle capitalism. Yeah, she says, pick a side or it will be chosen for you. And I found that to be rather terrifying. And there's been a trend of this sort of thing going on. You know, a lot of the element where people are saying, well, agree with me or I'm unfriending you, is part of this whole thing. Pick a side or it will be chosen for you. And I, I don't understand how that could ever be considered reasonable. You know, my friend used to be very reasonable. She used to be involved on a lot of political forums, and I, I, I've had countless debates with her and watched her debating other people. She would regularly consider ideas that were coming from the right, not necessarily say that they're true, but at least consider them enough to have a reasonable discussion about them. But over the past several years, she's just went so far left. There's just, it's like, I don't even know what to say. You know, and she's, I, I'm the only person that she still has as friends whom she knew before she started becoming unreasonable. And, uh, I don't know. Um, and some of the, these notions that are, out there are that if you're white and you're not looking at the world from a sort of a Marxist Engels sort of perspective, which I think is kind of weird anyway, because I mean, so many people pushing the, the critical race theory and gender theory, you know, rely on, on Marx and Engels way of looking at things, even though they were white guys. Um, it, it's, it's like we're, we're worshiping the philosophies of a couple people, not willing to look at things any differently. No, no, no. It's all about, it's all about power and privilege, right? So if you're not breaking things apart in this far leftist manner of power and privilege, and you're not actively trying to dismantle the system of white supremacy and dismantle these systems of oppression, that you're a white supremacist. doesn't matter if you're against the idea of some races being superior to other races. doesn't matter if you're against that. It doesn't matter if you preach against racism. Nope, if you're not actively trying to dismantle the system of white supremacy and you're white, you're a white supremacist. In fact, it can even go outside of, uh, even, if you, even if you're not white, if you're not trying to actively do that, people can still say, oh, well, you could be a, a uh, you could be against your own race if you're not trying to dismantle these systems. And I'm just like, so that's where we're at now, huh? Pick a side or it will be chosen for you. You know, I resent that so much. You know, I consider myself on the left. You know, as I've said, I, 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 I argue for uh, universal health care, free tuition colleges, a decent safety net. I'll even argue for uh, uh, universal basic income. 
You know, I, I argue for, for government housing. I argue to, uh, to take care of, of homeless people and not look at homeless people in, in the ways that, that our society does. Um, I argue for police reform. I argue for reform in the courts. I argue to get rid of private prisons. You know, I still call myself an independent. But apparently, unless I agree with these Marxist ways of breaking apart society and government and economics, that I might as well just be a right-winger, or that I am a, a white supremacist, or, you know, it, 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 when people, when people change what white supremacist means to that degree, it waters it down to where the people who are real white supremacists aren't looked at as bad as their ideology is. You know, it, it, it suggests that a moderate, uh, open-minded Republican is just as bad as uh, uh, Spencer. That they're just as bad as David Duke. Oh, well, see, you're, you're not trying to dismantle the system of white supremacy, therefore you're part of the problem and you're the enemy. I just think it's weird. I think it's scary. You know, again, as I've said in another video, it's... You're trying to force everyone to be a far leftist. Because if you're not a far leftist, then you're a bigoted, sexist, racist, misogynistic, homophobic, white supremacist. And that's just weird. It's just messed up. It's not how things should be. There's gray area. There's nuance. And, you know, pretty much all sides are wrong about something. We're just going to have to see how things go after this election, right? I think we're in for... How do I how do I word this without someone saying that it's uh, dog whistling or something? We're in for a rough ride between the time of the election and the end of January. We're in for a really rough ride. I hope we make it.